Hello guys, this is Sebastian Osborne here, and today I bring you another Maya tutorial. Uh, we will be going over how to frame by frame duplicate your character. Now this could be useful for a few reasons. Um, let me go ahead and do it. Uh, and as you can see it duplicated the character, you can keep doing this. Um, basically it makes a duplicate of your character's geometry uh, for whatever frame you choose to make that duplicate on. Um, and they stay there, as you can see. Uh, and it helps you to easily distinguish, um, you know, what's going on on each frame, and uh, can you know, and also what's going on in your current frame. Uh, it can be very useful uh, just to kind of show you where there might be errors, you know, in your animation. Because let's face it, sometimes when you're scrolling through your timeline or time slider, uh, it can be kind of hard to see what's going on in the path of action. So it can be very useful uh, for showing any potential errors uh, in, her, in their poses. Um, there is a Maya function that does something similar to this uh, called ghosting. You might want to check that out. Uh, but I, 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 not knowing how to do everything in uh, Maya, uh, find it a little, um, I, I kind of struggle to use it. And I also find this method to be better. So. Um, Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to create these, um, a, a hotkey for them, uh, but first I'm going to show you how to do it manually so you understand what you're doing. Uh, okay, so first of all, you want to make their, your, their geometry selectable, but it depends on the character because um, the, you know these are animation mentor characters on, on their characters. Uh, they provide a little thing here called selectable body and make sure it says on so this is a character you got online uh, you know I don't know if they're gonna have something like this but anyway alright so you make sure that says on and then you can select their geometry because unless that's on it's only going to allow you to select the uh, the uh, controls alright all right, so we want to make sure we don't select the controls because we're about to duplicate it. We don't want to duplicate the controls, so put none and then only polygons. All right, so we can only select your geometry. Control D on the keyboard. You can also go here, duplicate. And there you go. All right, so, and you notice that, uh, let me bring this back. You notice that, um, you know she's she's still selectable uh, and you, you know you may not want that you, you may just want to create a duplicate and then go back to your animation and like oh no I, I select your geometry you know you, so you, you may want to deselect it immediately after you uh, after you create it so I'm gonna show you how to take care of that um, basically it's the same way that we turned the selectable geometry on earlier there's a way to turn it off uh, so if you say at this state you want to turn it off, select your geometry, or excuse me, no, select the base, and then turn it off. And now you can select her controls, and her her uh, her duplicate will remain there, and you can't select it. Obviously, if you want to turn it back on, just well turn it back on. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how to do all that, and you notice it was kind of tedious to do all that, so you can create three buttons to do all this for you very quickly alright so let's get to it um, now here's the thing uh, I'm gonna have to I, I can't provide you with a script oh, wrong thing I can't provide you with a script that you can just copy uh, in the video description because this is an individual character it will not work you have to follow these steps into creating your own hotkey um, yourself uh, and I'll, I'll go over it but it all depends on the characters so and, and plus me showing you this will hopefully give you some scripting knowledge that might be able to help you uh, learn how to script other things and make other hotkeys so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll help you learn how to do it in general so it'll help you later on alright so here's what we gotta do so let's um, let's delete Turn it back on. Let's delete her geometry. The duplicate. All right. So here's the script editor. I'm gonna clear all just so you can kind of see what's going on here. All right. 
so what you want to do is select the base of the character and uh, take this command up here in your uh, in your history and middle mouse button drag it down here to this input section alright um, and then what you do is you go here and make sure this says on in my case it was already on but uh, and you notice it, it uh, so we selected the root as you can see select root the character's root and then basically what we did with what we did is uh, we set attribute uh, to this uh, selectable body to one and one is on and zero is off so select this and make sure that's on the second line there All right. I'm gonna create a few more just by pressing enter um, and then let me just check and see what I did real quick alright so we're gonna select her geometry next so I'm going to select none and then only polygons you notice it didn't record it much, well it recorded the clear but it didn't record any of this uh, it probably would have if I turned on echo all commands which is sometimes uh, necessary for creating scripts it'll just basically echo well all commands uh, the stuff that it normally doesn't show alright there we go we selected it so copy this whole thing drag it down here and actually we're not going to need five um, and then control D whoops sorry control D uh, and then just copy this duplicate RR so here we selected her geometry and then we're duplicating it um, so there you go you basically created this uh, first button here that I have and instantly you did all those steps uh, in one single moment then select all of this middle mouse button drag it over to your uh, to you can create your own shelf or the custom shelf whatever you want to do I'll show you how to do that in a second uh, drag it over here. Okay. Now, really quickly, in case you don't know how to do this, uh, basically you can create another shelf by going here, new shelf, uh, and it'll create a new shelf tab. Uh, and then you you know you can call it whatever you want. You can name it whatever. Um, all right. So here we have the new button, and let's uh, let's see it in action. Now let's go ahead and I want to delete this just to see that it works and. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Enter geometry. Okay, yeah, it's still selectable. All right. So, um, actually, let me show you proof that it works. Uh, so let's turn this off. All right. So her geometry is not selectable. I push the button. All right. Duplicates her geometry. She and that are now selectable. All right. Cool. It worked. So that's how you do that. Um, so, but you know, like I said, you may want this to not be selectable. Um, so, simple, really simple thing that you do is uh, you clear all this out. Actually, clear input. Select the base of the character and then simply turn it off. And just drag all that, bring it down here, or you can bring it directly, you know, you could just drag it here, but if you want to see what you're doing, uh, go to the input section first. Middle mouse drag and uh, middle mouse button drag uh, it over here. And then you you notice it's it's not selectable anymore, but um, let me do it again. Okay, so geometry is selectable, you press this button, geometry is not selectable. And then you just you can do the same thing. Uh, you can create another one. Yeah, you don't got to redo this process. Obviously, you can just turn this to one to make it reselectable. Uh, say okay, say it's not selectable, and you want to delete these, right? Well, turn it to one, so it's on. Make another button. Press it. Now it's selectable again. Um, all right, so that's how you do that. That's pretty much it. But I'm going to show you a few more things. Um, make sure you name these. Go uh, right click, edit. Shows you your command here if you need to edit it. Uh, but the shelves tab here, uh, you go to it and you can label it. I'm going to call it do. Oh, that's nice. Uh, duplicate Stella. 
and make sure you it's it's nice to have a tool tip um, just to kind of show you what's going on um, duplicate Stella all right safe and there it is um, and then you know if you uh, want to use the naming system I have it I mean it doesn't matter uh, select Stell Stella select um, make Stella's geometry selectable alright so anyway you get the point um, just make sure you distinguish you know your, your buttons okay so uh, that's that's pretty much it um, but say you want these to, now that you can do this um, if you want these to be uh, stay to just be in wireframe mode and to be not selectable without having to worry about a button you can um, select this make it a layer alright if you plan to keep it for a while make it a layer alright uh, just press this little button down here um, to the uh, far right uh, and V for visible on and off and then you can change it to template T which makes it wireframe and it's not selectable or you can change it to R I'm not really sure what R stands for uh, but it makes it not selectable um, so it just depends on your method but uh, I personally like the hotkeys method for you know as, as far as making it not selectable and stuff and I don't really care to make it wireframe so that's just my preference but anyway and you turn it off you can make it selectable again alright so that's how you do that so that's pretty much how you uh, do a frame by frame duplication of your character uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, I'll talk to you later bye